I am very excited to, uh, to be here in Singapore today uh, at the ChangeLog series uh, with you and Bobby and to share a little bit more about uh, Crypto.com. So digital technology has gifted humanity many benefits across varied sectors in the recent decades. But as technological advances continue, we as a society need to make big and far-reaching decisions on what technology, what role technology will play in our lives, and also how to govern all the data that it will produce. At Crypto.com, we believe the rights to privacy and to property are fundamental human rights. How we control our data, our identity, is unfortunately under threat. We've seen it in many recent examples the last few years with scandals involving large financial services and technology company. Also, what we own, our money, is something we should also protect, especially against devaluation and excessive printing from government. We believe blockchain technology and all the cryptocurrency that are built upon it can uh, provide people with the ability to regain control. Control over their data, their identity, and their money. However, as we all know, the space is very nascent. Less than 1% of the world's population is currently using cryptocurrencies. It's mostly a group of passionate early adopters and the use case is primarily speculative investment at this stage. So, our goal as Crypto.com is really to bring cryptocurrency in every wallet. And for that, we need to accelerate the world's transition to using blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. So how to do that? How to move from 50 million, 60 million users we have in the space right now to 500 million, a billion users? We believe making crypto spendable is the way to drive adoption in the cryptocurrency space. And that's why our two flagship products, the MCO Visa card and Crypto.com Pay, are both payment solutions trying to solve just that, making crypto spendable for your day-to-day -day spending, for you to buy a coffee, for you to pay your rent. The MCO Visa card is a beautifully designed card that enables you to convert your crypto instantly into fiat currency and then spend it everywhere Visa is accepted. That is 40 million merchants globally, online and offline. And it's powered by the MCO token. Crypto.com Pay is a QR code a payment solution. So it enables you using your mobile phone to pay merchants instantly, uh, so native crypto experience for free and get great rewards as well when you do that. It is powered by a public blockchain called Crypto.com Chain to facilitate all the transactions. And we use the CRO token, which is the native token of the Crypto.com Chain to a power transaction and transfer. Let's look in more detail at those two products and start with the MCO Visa card first. Uh, I wanna show you a little bit of uh, our brand new collection that we launched in the US in July. So as you can see, it's a very nice product, uh, but it's also packed with amazing perks um, to incentivize usage. You can get up to 5% cash back while using the MCO Visa card, no cap. You can get free Spotify, free Netflix, great discount on Airbnb and Expedia. You can get, when you want to travel, get uh, no FX fee for all your overseas spending and get access to Airport Lounge globally. So it's a great product. Uh, people love using it. They get a little bit addicted to it. And we've seen here in Singapore, where the product is live, and across the Atlantic in the US, 
great joy from our customers just by receiving the package, the card, unboxing it, and starting to use it for day-to-day -day spending. Um, it's a great product, it feels great, and it gives you great benefits. So we feel it's pushing adoption forward of crypto by making it spendable. Let's have a look at Crypto.com Pay, which is our mobile payment solution. So to enable customers to pay natively, directly in crypto to merchants. As a customer, I can select any crypto that I want, Bitcoin and up to 50 uh, currencies, and I can pay a merchant going through the chain network. The merchant can receive crypto or fiat. So we give that options to merchants. Um, so it's very flexible and they don't have to worry about the volatility of crypto. The chain network is protecting your data. It has privacy protected features. It is fast, it is secure. We have a partnership with Intel SGX to make sure all the raw transactions on the network are secured and protected at the CPU level. And also it's free and rewarding. So it's a great product for merchants. They can receive crypto, no fees. And if they want fiat, only 0.5%, which is still much better than any other payment solution out there uh, for a merchant. Although we're still building the technology and the chain is at the testnet stage, we have not stopped there and we're not waiting for the technology to be ready. We have already built three use cases for the chain that people can use already today. The first one is integration with online merchants. Think of it as a PayPal button for crypto. It's very easy for merchants to integrate the crypto.com pay button. It's one line of code. And then they put it on their checkout page. As a customer, I click on the button. A QR code pops up. I take my phone. I scan the QR code. I confirm the transaction. And the merchant gets paid. We've already signed up large global merchants to integrate this solution, like Ledger, and also more regional and local players like Y Sneakers in Singapore. And we're continuing to increase a merchant adoption. Within the Crypto.com app, we've also uh, uh, made available the purchase of gift card and vouchers using the pay network. You can buy from Amazon, from Nike, Adidas, here in the region, Lazada, Zalora, and, and Grab. Vouchers directly using your mobile phone and spending your crypto. And if you use the native token of the chain, CRO, you can get up to 10% cash back on each of the transactions that you do. It's very rewarding. We have now 100 brands in 10 markets available uh, for this use case. Finally, more recently, we launched a peer-to-peer -peer solution um, for pay. So you can pay your friends after a meal, uh, after drinks, split the bill. It's very easy to use. You can send instantly crypto to them if they are part of the crypto.com ecosystem, but also if they are not part of it, and they can receive the crypto very easily. Again, if you use the native token of the chain, CRO, you can get benefits and rewards. It's a little bit of the Vemno of cryptocurrency for those who are familiar with this peer-to-peer uh, -peer solution in the US. To power these two spendability experiences, we had to build a full ecosystem. An ecosystem to enable customers to access cryptocurrency, how to buy it, store it safely, track it, and a part of the ecosystem where when they don't spend crypto, can the crypto work for them? Can they get more value out of their crypto? Our offering at this stage for the wallet, the card, and our investment product is custodial, i.e. Crypto.com holds the funds securely. We're also developing a non-custodial solution. Like Pay will be decentralized and will give complete control and access of the funds to the customers. Let me go through quickly some of the products that we have on the access side so, and later on on the growth side. For access, the entry point for anyone who wants to enter the crypto space is the Crypto.com app. Very easily, you can buy more than 50 cryptocurrency at the best execution price is in the market. If you're a retail investor, you can't get the better price in an exchange. So it's very, very uh, solid pricing, no spread, no fees. We also bridge with a little bit of a fiat gateway. So if you want to buy crypto with fiat, we have all the different means for you to do so. In the US, you can use ACH transfer. 
in Europe, vBinance, SEPA transfer. And globally, we launched uh, yesterday a Swift uh, integration. So you can do an international wire and transfer your fiat in the wallet app instantly and for free. And then from there, you can buy any crypto, exchange it. It's very easy. We also invest a lot in the security and the storage uh, protection of our customer funds. We store all the crypto of our customers in cold storage, 100%, and we leverage um, institutional grade, multi-sig solutions to protect those funds. Finally, you can track uh, any crypto in the market, see the price movement, the volume movement, what's trending, what's not, and you can control your MCO Visa card as well directly within the app, see all your transactions, see your cash back, your rewards. If we move to the growth side, we have three products um, to make your crypto work for you while you're sleeping. The first one is Crypto Invest. It's a very unique product, has been performing extremely well. Consider it as a robot advisor for crypto. You, as small as $20, you can put in Crypto Invest and instantly the engine will diversify your investment and manage it actively for you based on your risk profile. And you can put up to half a million dollars on it. We've published uh, two weeks ago the performance um, of Crypto Invest for the last nine months. Of course, it's beating any traditional indices out there, S&P 500, of course, and, and others. But it's also much better than the top hedge funds in crypto. So we've outperformed, especially for our growth um, risk portfolio, the top hedge funds in the industry, and we're giving that to retail investors. Um, so it's a very good way for you to diversify your crypto and control your risk. Crypto credit is the ability for anyone to get a loan in crypto. So you deposit crypto as a collateral, let's say Bitcoin, and we give you, let's say, 40% of that as a loan in stablecoin. Then you can use that loan to top up your card and spend it uh, to buy coffee, or you can use that loan to buy more crypto. Um, it's very easy to use. We launched this week also some, some new additions on top of Bitcoin. We also now support loans with collateral in ETH, XRP, and MCO. And we're seeing a lot of traction uh, and people using it. No credit check required. The payment schedule is very flexible. You have 12 months to repay and the APR is 8%, much better than any credit card out there or consumer loan product. Finally, the last growth product is Crypto, uh, crypto Earn. So it's very easy, consider it as an interest earning uh, product, like a fixed D in a sense. You deposit crypto and you earn up to 8% in that crypto uh, for a year. We've extended the number of crypto we support. You can see the list. Uh, we have all the big tokens. We also have promotion on stable coins where the interest rate is even higher uh, and on some of our own tokens as well. It's a great product, people love it. It's very flexible, so you can put your crypto in different uh, maturity products. One is fully flexible, so you can withdraw it whenever you want. One is one month term and the other one is three months term. And of course, the longer you put it for, the higher the interest rate you will get on that product. And of course, no fees. Building the Crypto.com ecosystem is a multi-year journey. Uh, as you can see, building the access part to crypto, the spendability of crypto, and the growth part of crypto is fairly complex. I've put here uh, the roadmap we designed for 2019 and onwards. As you can see, it's, it's a summary of it, and it's already you know, taking the whole screen. Uh, so there's a lot that we're releasing every two weeks for our community and a summary of what we have achieved already, which is large majority of what was promised and still a lot more to come for this year. I want to highlight only uh, maybe four major releases that are coming up in the next few weeks. The first one is the ability for our customer to manage their assets. So for now, they can see the total balance that they have, but they don't know how much money they've made. They can't control their portfolio. Um, so we want to provide more capability for users to understand how their assets are performing also be able to manage their tax. Luckily in Singapore, it's not too, too complex to manage, but in the US and some other markets, uh, it is important to give that ability for customers to, to manage their tax and optimize around it. 
Another big feature for the app on the access front, and I've talked a lot about bringing fiat money into the platform through bank transfer, credit, debit card purchase. But people want at some point to take the money out as well. Um, we, they can already do it with the uh, Visa card. They can go to ATM and withdraw money. That's one way. But the card is not yet available everywhere. We have also a partnership with stablecoin partners like TUSD and Paxos. So they can facilitate redemption in USD. But we won't provide that capability for anyone within the app to withdraw their money back to the fiat world. So we're working on that and will be coming uh, a new feature soon for, for the app. One big question we get from our community, especially in Europe, is when is the MCO Visa card coming to that market? For now, it's available in Singapore and US, and we're working very hard um, to make it available in Europe. We have some great news uh, in the next future, and we'll be announcing those. It's very a key market for us to deliver uh, our card there. We're also looking uh, to enable more markets in Asia, um, in Southeast Asia and, and North Asia as well. Uh, so that will come shortly after that. Finally, big milestone for the Crypto.com chain products, our public blockchain that is powering this um, payment experience natively in crypto. The testnet is coming soon in the next few weeks. Um, the team is working very hard to make that happen and we're working with a lot of partners in the ecosystem to make it a successful launch and invite developers and communities to start working and developing on the chain. One thing I want to emphasize, although we have a very packed roadmap and we're delivering a lot for our customers, in everything we do, compliance and security comes first, always. We are the only company in the crypto space to have both PCI compliance level one, which is the highest level, and ISO certification. And I believe this is a, a testament of, of the high standard we uphold in our company in terms of information security throughout departments and throughout time. Those requirements are not only snapshot. They have to be maintained throughout time. Also, we invest a lot in protecting our customer funds. 100% of their funds in crypto are stored in cold storage in institutional grade custody solution. And those are not cheap, but it is important for us to protect all the customer funds. We also secure their fiat funds because we are the gateway for fiat for anyone who want to buy crypto. And we store their funds in custodian uh, bank accounts that are protected as well and insured in markets like in the US. So we take our commitment to security and compliance very seriously. Finally, we would not be here today if it was for our community. Uh, they've been supporting us since the beginning, giving us invaluable feedback on all our me social media channels, on Telegram, on Discord, on Facebook, on Twitter. We are very excited to say that we have now more than 800,000 uh, users on our platform, and we're growing 20% month on month. So I can let you project what will be at the end of the year. It's keeping us busy, but we're very excited to see that level of growth uh, for the company. We also try to connect with the community through global outreach program, with our ambassador program, and local program through our, in Singapore, what we call the Rocketeers, with operational marketing activity on the ground. In each of the markets that we operate, we try to connect with local partners. In Singapore, we work very closely with Access, which is the local association about blockchain and cryptocurrency. We work with MES, the regulator, and a branch of other partners like University. Uh, we've just launching uh, this week a case competition involving all students across all universities in Singapore to think about crypto and what feature can they bring uh, to the Singapore market that will be relevant for them. So it's very important to invest in education. Whatever we do, this is still a small space, we need to grow it. We need to invest in bringing awareness to what blockchain technology and cryptocurrency can bring to societies. And hopefully with that, we can achieve our goal to accelerate the world's transition to cryptocurrency and bring cryptocurrency in every wallet. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Eric, for a great presentation. I guess let's go for Q&A. I mean, I, while I was listening to the presentation, I've got a few questions of my own, actually. Sure. So
So the part that got me really interested is the invest portion of it, where you show outsized return of the crypto investment compared to S&P and all. So I'm just curious, is this a passive investment thing that Crypto.com does using an index tracker or is it an actively managed fund that you have some quant traders trading actively? Very good question. I think if it was passive, we could not get those kind of results. So we have actually a large trading team and they manage uh, the different strategies. We have, of course, algos behind it, but we have a team, pretty solid um, traders managing it. And what was the returns like, like in the last six months to a year if you have them of your case? Yeah, it really depends on your portfolio. Um, I think it ranges from 40% to 100%. But more importantly, is not the ROI of the return, is what is the risk that you would take? What's your drawdown? Uh, and we invest a lot in making sure, even if the market goes down, you don't lose too much. Um, so I think you need to look at both returns in absolute terms and percentage, but also what's your risk ratio. And we, we control that very seriously. And another question I have for follow-up is the crypto.com chain. So to me, I look at it as an MCO as like a, and, a, and an app as more like a crypto debit card play. A crypto.com and CRO chain is more like a WeChat pay, payment merchants across the country. So imagine like a WeChat with a QR code that you can pay. Hmm. So I'm curious, like, which country are you guys going to roll out the CRO uh, first or is it an online play? So to, to scale a merch, merchant network, you have a little bit to prioritize where you're going to go first because it's a long journey. An expensive journey. And it is an expensive journey. So you need partners, but you can do some yourself. Uh, what we've decided is to start with online merchants first. And so that's our main focus. We've spent the last four months developing a very robust SDK for merchants to integrate. And we're starting to onboard merchants from Europe, from US, and a couple of markets in Asia. Um, so that's, that's the focus. Of course, the chain is decentralized. There's no geography uh, preferences. Anyone who wants to join um, you know, is able to. All right. Uh, I'm going to open up the uh, questions to the floor. So, yep. Hi. Uh, thanks for your presentation. A quick question about crypto earn. Mm. How do you make that sustainable? How are you going to, how do you make the revenue to cover the interest that you're paying out? Sure. So, Crypto Earn and Crypto Credit work in tandem together. Um, so all the funds that we get in Crypto Earn, we can loan them out in Crypto Credit. And both are on platform. The interest rate we give on average in Crypto Earn is lower than the APR that we charge on the credit side. So that's how we make it work. Uh, balances these two products out within the platform. So there's no risk for customers. Uh, for crypto invest, I mean, like, you know, you also mentioned robo-advisors, but obviously it looks like it's an actively managed fund as well. But uh, aren't there any, like, sort of licensing requirements? I know in Singapore, there are, like, robo-advisory licenses, and just wondering how is that actually dealt with, especially with so many jurisdictions? For any products, especially financial products that we launch, of course, we consult with, you know, local regulators and our council to see what's possible and which market we can launch. So for the market, we are live for crypto invest, and I, I don't think we are in Singapore, unfortunately, yet. Um, we are compliant with local regulation. Uh, and when we need licenses, we'll apply for it because we want to expand all these products to cover the globe. Which countries is crypto invest uh, available? Um, primarily in Europe and other markets in Asia, not in US yet and not in Singapore. Any questions? Well, I know I have. Hi, so this is about the card. Um, when does the conversion happen when I'm paying using the card? Is it at the time that I'm paying or? Sure. Thank you. Our, our understanding of visa rules is that the conversion should not happen at the point of sale. So it has to happen before if we want to be compliant with how visa works, especially in Singapore. So we give the flexibility to our customers whenever they want. When the price is right, they can convert the crypto and top up their card wallet, and then they can use it uh, at the point of sale. And it takes two seconds, two taps, you can convert it and top up your card. Yep. So technically, I can convert like a few seconds before I spend my... Exactly. But I think if you're, you're in the crypto space, you usually want to convert at the right time, not necessarily when you want to purchase a good. Maybe you feel this is the right price. Actually, I want to convert now. And most people do that. It adds a little bit of friction. So we, you know, we're looking to see um, how we can improve that. 
But if you want to follow the regulation and be compliant, this is the way to go. Plus, it gives some flexibility to our customers to decide when is the right price to convert. A uh, gentleman down there has a question I remembered. Yep. Uh, I had kind of a similar question. Could you elaborate a bit more about fees? Because uh, like if I, for example, pay with a cryptocurrency, there must be some price for conversion to, like, for example, to buy coffee. So how does this process work? Sure. So whether you want to buy crypto uh, with fiat or convert crypto back to fiat, uh, we're going to give you uh, the best execution rate that you have in the market. So how, do, how does that work? We, as a company, hedge all the trades that you would do. And you, we are the counterparty of your trade. And then instantly, we hedge it on the market. And because of our scale now and our volume, we get corporate discounts at all the big exchanges on the platform when we hedge our position. Hence, we can pass on that discount to our customers. We don't, the only spread we would charge is to manage um, the guaranteed price that we offer. So when you want to buy a crypto or exchange a crypto on our platform, we give you a price that is valid for 15 seconds. It's guaranteed, it's very easy to use, but we're taking a little bit of an execution risk. So we will put usually five to 10 basis points to cover that execution risk. But the rate that you'll get, plus the fees that we're paying on the exchanges, is much better than anyone could get as a retail investor. And we pass that fully to customers. Hello. Uh, do you offer um, accounts for companies, for corporate clients? Sorry? For corporate clients? Corporate clients, ah. Yeah. Since our beginning, we've been uh, very much focused on retail. Uh, but we've been approached by a lot of corporate for some of our products. Um, invest in particular, and even credit. Uh, so there's strong interest uh, for corporate customers to uh, use those products. So we're, we're exploring that. We, we don't have corporate customers at this stage. What, what, what would you say would be the biggest challenge in growing users to, to have the crypto.com debit card in your pockets? Hmm. In onboarding new users, for example. Yeah. Well, um, I think the card is a great product and bringing it to many markets, it takes time. Yeah. Um, so if you want to follow the rules and be compliant, and you need to you know, take the, the time and do it properly. So that takes time and that slow down a little bit adoption. That's why also we have other products where we are a little bit more in control, like Crypto.com Pay and the chain, where we can enable that payment experience ourselves. Uh, then we use our own standards and we can drive that forward without being slowed down by the institutional, the legacy systems. Um, that you see our offering on the payment front that drives adoptions is both the card and a mobile payment solution. And that way we can cover both angles. All right. I guess um, that's all the time that we have today for Eric. So let's give him a round of applause.